Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you out to my backyard on this beautiful overcast cooler morning where we're going to clean up and get ready some amazing trees I'm blessed to have. Now, they don't get too awful big here because they can die back in the winter. They won't survive winter here, but... We're going to be talking about curry leaf trees. And of course, I'll put the Latin name in the description box below and even more medicinal information on them. Now, mine, I overwintered, believe it or not, in the little hoop house that could and can and still surprises me. Now, the main stems have died back. But they are shooting up from the roots, and I am just happy as can be that these babies have survived the winter here, being outside in the hoop house. Now, let's, I'm going to pause it, move the camera around so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, these are really rough looking, but beautiful curry trees, and they're coming up from the roots. I had six. I'm still hope, holding out hope that my sixth one will come up and and survive like these. If not, these at a later date will flower, produce seed, and I will plant them. All right. Now, a lot of people don't know, yes, curry leaves are wonderful for culinary uses. They're also medicinal as well. Now, they're good for curing dysentery. They're good for diabetes. It's good for uh, morning sickness. If you make a tea or add the curry leaves to your food. And later on in the season as they get bigger, I will show you how to use them. You can make vinegars. You can make uh, curry leaf oil. You can use them in stir fries. They're absolutely amazing. They're also extremely high in vitamins and minerals and at the moment it's escaping me so I'm going to have all the information that I know about these wonderful plants in the description box below. Now let's get to cleaning them up. Now some of them have weeds in them. That's fine. That's, that's, that's part of gardening. You can't be 100% weed free. If you are, something's wrong. All right. Unfortunately, the stems have died back because you can tell there's no life coming out of them, but that's okay. There's life coming out from the root base. And I'm just going to clip them back. There's some tough little trees, let me tell you. But, yep. Yeah. The, the stem is completely dead. There's one cleaned curry leaf tree, and it's going to get big and beautiful. Now, on to this one. This one has really come up like crazy. Now, you want to be very careful where you snip, because you do not want to get any of the new growth. It won't kill the tree, but that's one less stem that you'll have to harvest from. Good grief. A tough little guys. Now you can overwinter them in your house. Now my clippers are not, my pruners are not that dull. I know for a fact. It don't help that my tendonitis is acting up too. And there's still more little, little stems coming up. Which I'm happy it's going to make it a big, nice, bushy, tree. I need to repot them as well. That'll come later when I can get some soil.
And there's another one cleaned up and ready to grow. I'm gonna have to change. Oh, it. Oh, they smell so wonderful. So wonderful. This one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. At least eleven stems coming out. And I love curry trees. I love making curries. Now this one, of course, needs to be weeded. Oh, sorry about the noise in the background. And I don't want to... There we go. And as you can tell, let's see. Let's see if it'll focus. See, that stem is dead. It's dried and everything. This one's really starting to bush out as well. And since we have some storms coming. Oh, wrong angle. Okay, come on. There we go. And of course, you want to try to keep them as weed free as possible. This one has all kinds of little babies coming, stems coming up. They're going to really bush out and be beautiful. Okay, let's go to this one. This one's big and pretty. Or weed. Gardener's job is never done. But it's pretty though. It's getting pretty. And you don't want to clip it too close to the base because then you do take a chance of cutting one of these beautiful beautiful branches coming up good grief I might have should have brought whoppers there we go Get a grip. <coughs> you just want to be very careful that you don't get any of your new growth. Sorry about the noise in the background. It's out of my control. But look at that one. This one has one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and some more coming up. But you want them in good, rich soil. They've been in this soil since last year, so it's time to uh, feed them real good, and of course they like full sun, and they're easy to grow. They are easy to grow. They just won't survive a cold winter. You can bring them in the house. They'll grow just fine in the house. Uh-oh. Yep, that's where you got to be careful. See, there was a branch there. Hopefully, it'll keep coming up. That's why I say you have to be very careful. This one's being sneaky.
and we've got little ones coming up <coughs> a good way from where the roots are. Now, as they get bigger, they'll bloom and they'll produce uh, berries on them. They're, they're beautiful. They're kind of like, they kind of remind me of coffee berries. And once those berries go from green to a dark black, you'll pick them off and plant them immediately. They're not one of the ones that you want to wait and, you know, let dry. You want to plant them while they're still good and, and uh, fresh. And, of course, I'll do another video on that one. There we go. I was beginning to worry about myself. <laughs> but simple, easy, amazing plant. As long as you've got some sunlight, good warm sunlight for them, they'll grow anywhere as long as you take care of them. But that's five really good, healthy curry tree plants coming up. And since I have so many branches or stems coming up from them, I'm going to have one amazing curry tree, or curry leaf heart. Apparently noise is after me today from planes to loudmouth people. But when you uh, use the curry leaves, let me get them closer. This one, yeah, no being camera shy. The leaves are what you'll use, and you'll use them fresh. But look at those, absolutely beautiful. And I was worried about them, and then they started bringing forth and I'm just happy as can be about them and you can rub them and they smell so good this is true curry leaf and it's a wonder and to be able to grow them <coughs> to harvest them to use them to propagate them I absolutely love my curry leaf trees and they make some amazing oil, some amazing vinegar. You can do so, so much with them. I hope this video encourages you as well to grow your own curry trees. <coughs> it's simple, easy, anybody can do it as long as you follow simple directions. They like a good, rich soil. They like good sunlight. They do not like to be cold. So you'd have to bring them in once it started getting uh, slightly chilly in your area. Give them a good uh, sunny window. Or you can kind of put them into what I call a hibernation. Where they'll, they'll survive in your uh, garage or utility room. But, now, I will warn you, they'll drop all their leaves, but they'll just go dormant. And then, once it starts warming up, you see, they pop right back to life. You might lose the main, main uh, trunk, but just, look, they still come up from the roots. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below. Hold on a second. I mean, simple, easy, anybody can grow curry leaf tree. I love them. Not only are they wonderful culinary spices, they are medicinal as well. And, of course, I'll have all the information in the description box below. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below the video. I am more than happy to, to answer them. And if I can't answer them, I will send you directly to the right direction of where you can learn more about them. I absolutely love them. Everyone, take care. Stay safe and sound. Continue to prep. Continue to stock up your foods. Don't be paranoid. Don't let these other people get you all panicked. Because 
A panicked mind is a dangerous mind. You don't think straight. Stay calm. Stay safe. Stay sound. Keep your head on a swivel. And remember, if you get panicked or paranoid, you do da damage to your uh, immune system and your organs as well. A lot of people don't know you'll blow out a gallbladder in a heartbeat stressing out. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. May you each be blessed. Take care, and I'll see you soon.